Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first spring clean video for this year and I'm also doing some decorating. And I also have a really cool cleaning product that I'm excited to share with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned so you can see what that is. Okay, but to get started, I'm going to go ahead and wash our bedding because it needed to be done. And, and if you are wondering, that dog is Madison. So if you've been with me for a while, you know who Madison is. She was our neighbor's dog and she used to come over all the time. But now we don't see her as often, but we got to keep her this last weekend. So that's who that is. And she's basically Tucker's girlfriend. He is obsessed with her, but she's a sweetheart. As you will see in this video, she's pretty much wherever I am. I'm using the last of my Persil um, laundry detergent and I really, really love it. I want to go ahead and purchase some more. And then I'm using the Blue Suavitel, which is my favorite. And then I use the Unstoppables Tide Original scent, which I love those. I love the Gain Original and then I love the Tide Original scent. Those are both my favorite scent beads. And so I switch between the two of those. All right, so I'm gonna be using Indust to dust and polish my bedroom furniture since I usually will just use like a Swiffer to wipe down in here. I wanted to go ahead and give them a good shine and the Indust does a wonderful job. I love using it for my stainless steel as you guys have probably seen, but it's also great on my furniture. So I'm going to be doing something really fun for the month of March. So for all of my videos in March, I'm going to be doing this. If you are subscribed to my channel and you have your subscription set to public so that I can see that you are subscribed to me. And if you want to comment on a video, just to let me know that you do want to participate, I'm going to be picking one person each week and I'm going to be sending a little surprise to you. So all you have to do is comment to let me know you want to participate and then just make sure you're subscribed and make sure your subscriptions are public so that I can see. And that's how I'm going to actually randomly pick you is by going in and looking at my list of subscribers and I'll randomly pick one of you and I will send you a little gift just to give back and say thank you for supporting my channel. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set up a little list in my Amazon store that you guys, once I pick the winner, that person can go pick something from that shop. That way I make sure you're getting something that you really do want, but I'll put a bunch of my favorite things and things that I love in that shop. It'll be really easy for you to go and kind of look and then you can just say, hey, I would really like this and then that's what I will send to you. So if you want to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, it's totally free for you. It just is going to notify you when I upload and it just helps to support my channel. But yeah, I thought that would be a fun idea for March. So I would love to have you participate. So I'm actually cleaning the ceiling fan with a pillowcase. I've seen a few people do this. I normally would just use my Swiffer, but this does make a lot of sense because it catches anything that's going to fall down. So I just have an old pillowcase 
and I'm just putting it over the blade and then wiping it all the dust in, into it and then I just washed it in the washing machine and it did a really good job. Okay, so now I'm gonna be cleaning the windows in my master bedroom. I'm not gonna be doing the blinds in here today just because they're brand new. They really didn't need it. But these windows haven't been cleaned in quite some time. They've got a lot of dirt in them. So I'm just using Windex to clean, well not Windex, I'm using the Method glass cleaner, which is not my favorite. But I have it and I wanna use it up. So I'm using that on the glass and then I'm using that just to clean up the dirt as you see here it's pretty gross so that's the spring cleaning that i'm doing today is mostly just the windows it was so exhausting and i have so many windows in my house so i didn't even get them all done but i got a lot of them done The windows downstairs were a lot dirtier they were so disgusting and i'm going to be showing you all of that <laughs> and there was like dog hair and just i don't even know but i don't know how long it's been since these windows were cleaned normally when you move into a new house they have it clean for you professionally but that didn't happen in this house so some things were pretty gross but i'm excited to finally be getting it to like my standard of clean and i think once i'm done with my spring cleaning then it will be a lot easier to maintain but this is a lot, a lot of buildup from years and years and years. And the people before us had dogs as well. And you'll be shocked to see how much your blinds and your like window frame will collect dog hair. So make sure you stay tuned because I'll be showing you that. Bye bye, bye bye. You're a little bit selfish. You get mad every time you lose. You can't take me with you. I'm scared you're gonna blow your fuse Come a little bit closer Yeah I can really start over Yeah In the back of my mind There's someone waiting on me You're just wasting my time Because you're scared and lonely Finally got some closure Yeah I can finally start over Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I decorated this little corner and my entryway. But first I'm going to tell you where I got everything. First I'll tell you the rug is from Walmart because I know someone will ask because it's so beautiful. But anyways, I got this welcome home sign from Walmart. It was $14 and 80 something cents I believe. And it's so, so cute. So I'm going to use this pedestal from Zizo & Co. I'm going to use this pedestal as well. This is from a company that's not in business anymore. But Zizo & Co. can make them. So if you like this, um, they can make it as well. And I always have them linked in the description. But these little pedestals are everything. Bailey, can I help you? They are just so adorable if you love the farmhouse style. Can you guys move? I have three dogs with me. We're babysitting Madison. For those of you that have been with me for a while, just one second. Just one second. Yeah. For those of you that have been with me for a while, you know Madison was our neighbor's dog and um even though we moved away we still get to see her every once in a while so we have her for the weekend so i have a crazy house right now and the dogs are very curious but anyways the bunny is from the target dollar spot a couple of years ago the carrot in his back i cannot remember where i got that um and then a friend of mine made this adorable little bunny for me so i'm going to show you how i put this all together and I put it right here in this corner and I think it turned out really cute. So I'm going to show you the process of me decorating it in case it will hopefully give you guys some inspiration. So yeah, let's get started. Yeah. 
It was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you It struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me I also wanted to show you that I got Bailey a new bed I got this at Home Goods because the bed like this that she had was falling apart. All the stuffing was coming out. So that's Tucker's little bed. And this is Bailey's new bed. And I just think it's so cute and it matches my office perfectly. Okay, so in the living room, I just wanted to kind of straighten up in here because I was going to be putting out some of my spring decor. I don't have a whole lot, but I did get a few pieces at Home Goods. And I have a few more things that I might be putting out, but I didn't put them out in this video. But I just wanted to wipe everything down and straighten it up and make it clean in here before I did the windows and before I put my decor out. So I did get that little pillow at Home Goods. I had to drive an hour just to find a Home Goods because we don't have one in my town, but it was well worth it because they had so many cute things. And that's where I got the little bag of carrots as well, or the basket. And then I'm showing you those little hooks that I got from the Dollar General, I think, and they suck. Don't waste your money on them. I ended up, well, one of them ended up falling and then the other one's still there by some miracle because I've tried using them in other spaces as well and they just, they do not work. So I just ended up using tape. So save your money or invest in, I guess, some better ones because the Dollar General ones do not stick. But I got this really cute Buffalo Check carrot garland at Home Goods as well. Pretty much everything new I got from there, but if I've already had it, I probably got it at the Target dollar spot, but I'll try and let you know where I got everything. And this was Kinsley's little stuffed rabbit and she just had to have it there for decoration and I figured it fit because it goes with Easter so I let it stay. And I did get this little bunny at the Target dollar spot a few years ago. I haven't seen what they have out this year. I really want to check it out, but mine is always so picked over. I can hardly ever find anything. And I got this new throw blanket at Home Goods as well, and I'm obsessed with it. On one side, it's like a cream color, and on the other side, it's a gray color. So technically, you could flip it around if you wanted, but it's also kind of thick and it's really cozy. So for these windows down here, I'm doing the same thing, but I am going to be cleaning the blinds. But here I'm showing you that dog hair is not from my dogs. That's from the previous owner's dogs. And I don't even know what all of that gunk is, but just wiping it with the Windex, it wouldn't even come up. So I'm going to have to use my steam cleaner, which I'm excited to share that with you. I'm going to be showing you how I use that to get it up. But as you can see, all that dog hair and that alone right there can cause your home to have bad odors. When you have pets, you want to make sure that you're constantly vacuuming and constantly wiping because their pet hairs have dander and the dander is what has the animal smell. So I wanted to really scrub down these windows and get them nice and clean. Fun fact, my aunt used to clean houses for a living and she's the one who actually told me that when she would clean people's homes that have dogs when she would be cleaning the blinds the smell of dog was almost overwhelming her being a non-pet owner i'm sure it was worse because we kind of get adapted to those smells but she said when she was cleaning the blinds and stuff that the smell was almost overwhelming because people don't realize that the pet hair and the dander sitting there for so long will end up stinking but also I was showing you this little steamer that I got on Amazon. I'll link it for you in the description. I feel like it's very affordable and it comes with a bunch of different attachments for the end. I think it has some scrubby brushes and some other things, but it's great for a lot of things, especially when you're doing your spring cleaning, but it worked great in this instance. you if we dance in the blizzard. 
So as I was cleaning the windows, my little dude saw me through the window and he came up and was being so cute. So I just had to show you guys. Okay, so now this is where I'm using the steamer and all you do is put water in there and then you just let it heat up and then you pull the trigger and steam comes out at like a high pressure. It does a really, really good job. Now the stuff in this window was really, I mean, it had been there for a while. I don't even know what it is, but I got most of it up, not all of it. I could probably go in and spray some like bleach and let it soak and then try again, but I just had so much to do on this day, so I'll have to do it another time. But I wanted to let those of you who don't have a seam cleaner like this or can't run out and get one, if you still want to clean really, really good, another tip for you would be to use like a toothbrush or something like that and just spray the cleaner in there real good to soften up that gunk and break it loose and then just get you a toothbrush and scrub it really good. So this is the before, this is the after. So as you can see, there's a little bit left in the corners, but it looks a lot, lot better. And I really tried hard, so whatever that is in there is pretty much stained into the paint. But I might try to spray some bleach and see if I can't get a little bit more up. So when I used it around the window right here, mud and just, I don't even know, just like start it spottering everywhere. So, so gross. The things that you don't even know are there until you use something like this. So I thought it was really cool. And I did that in the kitchen as well. And I got a bunch out. It kind of caught me by surprise though. So I did get a little bit on my curtains, but in the kitchen I was prepared. I knew it was going to do that. So I made sure that I moved them out of the way. So now I'm just wiping down the blinds and I'm just using hot water and good old pine salt. Not only does it smell really good, but it disinfects and it just cleans really good. So I'm showing you the rag. That was just the one swipe of the blinds because I went in sections and that's how dirty these blinds were. They were so disgusting. In my other house, I would clean my blinds regularly. Regularly? I can't talk. Um, I would say I clean them every few months. I don't know when the last time these blinds were clean, but it's been a long time. So I went ahead and cleaned the inside and the outside of these glass doors here, but I am going to be cleaning my back patio as soon as it warms out, warms out, <laughs> as soon as it warms up outside. Well, I have a patio and a deck. That's actually the, the deck because the back of our house is on the second level, just the way that our house is. So in the front of the house, you walk right out, you know, basically into the grass, but in the back, we're up on the second level. So we have a deck and then a patio below it, but my deck needs to be cleaned really really bad from their dogs around the doors and stuff is really really dirty and then my patio furniture is disgusting as well bailey loves to lay on that couch out there and it's really really gross so i'm gonna be filming that and cleaning that really really soon 
so make sure you stay tuned for it. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a change of outfit. I had a sweatshirt on and my hair pulled back because I actually had to stop after that clip and go do our taxes. And then once I came home, I got back at it and I was cold, but you'll see I get hot again after I get to work because you'll see I take that off again. But here was just one swipe of the blinds in the kitchen. These blinds were so gross. You could see, you could just physically look at them and see just discoloration. I don't, even I could not even imagine what it was that was on them because it was like at the top too it wasn't even at the bottom where I would imagine it might be like dogs and kids and maybe food but at the very top they were really really dirty so I'm so happy to have them so clean now and smelling so fresh I just want it to stop because I miss you so This was my water when I was done. It looked like chocolate milk. Blech. So I just wanted to tidy up the kitchen now that I was done doing that deeper cleaning. So I'm just using my pine saw mixed with water to wipe down everything. And I'm cleaning up Kinsley's Play-Doh because that's what she was doing some of the time while I was cleaning. And I'm pretty sure you can see in this clip her drink some water out of that can that she was playing Play-Doh in. She legit drank water out of it. And I was mortified and I took it. As you could see there for a second, I was like, no, 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 that's so gross. Don't do that. But she's like, mom, it's Play-Doh water. I'm like, mm, we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> but anyways, I did not do the kitchen window because two reasons. One, honestly, I was just exhausted and I was over it at that point because I had been cleaning all day. But two, the blinds on the kitchen window are brand new as well. So there was no need to clean those. And that kitchen window isn't really that dirty because I clean it when I'm cleaning the kitchen sometimes anyways. So I just skipped it. Stop calling me up, just realize that we're done. So I'm gonna put a couple of little things here. Well, actually you're only seeing me put the banner here cause I already had the cute little bunny. That little bunny lights up, he's from Walmart. And then this egg banner is from the Target dollar spot, but I got it a couple of years ago. And then I got this really cute little hand towel at Home Goods as well. This one's pink and has little bunnies on it and it has like a gingham pattern. You can't see it in that clip. I wish I would have got a close up, but it was a two pack and I got a really pretty blue and then the really pretty pink so I can change them out. 
Now I'm putting this little bunny here. I got her a long time ago. I really don't know where I got her, but I have had her. She's not new. And then I put my little carrot banner that I got at the Target dollar spot here as well. Okay, here's a little warning. I'm fixing to share a blooper and I do scream in this blooper. So if you have a sleeping baby in your arms or something like that, that you don't want to wake up, here's your warning. And then you took it. There's a I... vacuum upstairs! I know. <laughs> what vacuum? What do you need it for? The Sears? Uh-huh. Use the one upstairs! <laughs> Okay, so once I was done with all of that, my sheets were obviously done. So I went ahead and put my bed back together. And this is all I did on this day. So the key to spring cleaning for me is just doing a little bit at a time and breaking it down. Do what you can because it takes a lot longer sometimes than you think it will and it's exhausting. So I'm going to be doing more and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you have your notifications turned on. Um but I'm going to be doing some decluttering. I'm going to be going through like our clothes and stuff. I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning in like the kitchen. I've already done a really deep clean in my master bathroom. That video is already up if you want to see that. And I'm going to be doing a lot of other things. So just make sure you stay tuned, but I'm going to, I'm going to break them down into smaller things because I feel like that makes it a lot more manageable. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.
Save me, save me, I'm losing every battle. Can somebody save me, save me, I'm losing every battle. 